I need to find a way to fill this black hole in me. I still have a family. I want them to be proud of me. Beautiful Boy is not only a movie about addiction, it's also a story about a family trying to survive through an all-encompassing traumatic event. I could completely relate. It was like seeing my own family story played out on the big screen. In 2014, I found out that my younger sister was addicted to meth. So the plot of Beautiful Boy, which is based on a memoir by David Sheff about his son Nick's battle with meth, was achingly familiar to me. You're just embarrassed because I was like, you know, I was like this amazing thing, like your special creation or something, and you don't like who I am now. Yeah, who are you, Nick? This is me, Dad, here, this is who I am. The movie really nails what it is like to love someone who's addicted to drugs. The confusion, the fear, the, what the next phone call is gonna bring, the, the breakdown in communication that happens, and just all the compounding hurt. I think that's why this sort of realistic, um, nuanced portrayal of addiction was so cathartic to watch. It really left behind Hollywood cliches about who becomes addicted to drugs and why. What it does instead is it really humanizes him. It shows him as a complex, caring person who is incredibly isolated by his own addiction and confused by why this is happening and doesn't know how to stop it. I don't feel like I have a disease. This isn't like cancer. This is my choice. I put myself here. I think there are so many misconceptions about people who use drugs, that they're selfish, that they're just out to have a good time, that they don't care about anyone else's feelings. And of course, that's not true at all. And we see throughout the movie how much Nick does love his family and cares about them. And every time he does something that hurts them, it just compounds the shame and guilt that he has and sort of helps perpetuate the cycle of using for him. Do you know how much I love you? I love you more than everything. 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 And I think it's incredibly painful for David in the movie to see that Nick is sort of choosing drugs over everything, over his family, over his career, potentially over his life. But Nick is not choosing anything. It's a disease and it's much stronger than his own self-will. Families can survive a lot together and we see that in this movie, just how resilient they are. The love, the everything that David has to offer him continues and you know just as strong as the drug is his love is even stronger unconditional love is the one element we see as being crucial to Nick's recovery and I think it was key for my sister as well